guys, it's Patriots Man here and I am back with another video. Today guys, we're going to talk about boosting from Team of the Week. So this is going to be a pretty simple thing from Team of the Week. It's probably going to continue throughout the rest of the weeks. But for the week of these players being active, so being an active Team of the Week player, they're each going to boost your team, boost each other. They're going to boost their own card. As you see, these are all the cards on the top, or rather on the screen right here. And all six of them are this week's, and then next week there'll be six that are boosted, etc. So Brady at a base 80 is boosted up to a 100 overall right here. Um, Derek Henry is base 94, and he's up to 119. And then Tyron Matthews base, I believe he's base 82 or something like that. I'm not quite sure his exact overall when he starts out, but he is up to 104. So I'm going to talk about why boosting is important for team of the week so basically in this game you know there is a very large gap between the pay to wins like those mega pay to wins and the free to play players so one way to sort of close the gap for the time being between you and maybe someone who's a few hundred overalls higher than you are is possibly to put these team of the week players on your team and put as many on your team as you can because these guys are all heavily boosted Especially when you put them in in the same lineup, they all boost each other and your overall goes up a crazy amount. So uncommon players will get a plus 15 overall boost and then plus a 15 overall boost to other team of the week players. So when you have, say for example, I have a Brady in and I have a Cortland Sutton in, right? So the Brady, the Brady alone is going to boost himself by 20. However, He's also going to get a plus 15 overall boost from that Cortland Sutton. So this Tom Brady right here on his own is 100. But if I also have Cortland Sutton in the lineup, he'll be a 115. So it's just crazy how this boosting works. We head over to my team and the one of the most boosted players on my team from the team of the week is this Derrick Henry. So clearly, you know, rank two, I'm not going to have a 242 overall halfback at a rank two. That's just not a thing. But he is pretty boosted. If you go down to active boost, you'll be able to see all the boosts you have. And we'll go to Derek Henry. So you see he has plus 70 everything. So I'm assuming um, with all my overall bonuses and stuff, I have plus 70 overall to Derek Henry. So that's crazy, right? So boosting is important because when you're trying to bridge that gap, when you're trying to close that gap between the heavily pay to wins or, you know, people who pay a lot, they're going to be way ahead. But those mid-tier spenders, those guys that are maybe around 4.2k overall, somewhere around there. Say you're like 3.4, 3.5k overall, you can get a few hundred overalls from this possibly. Or a couple hundred overalls, make it a little bit closer. It'll definitely help out your team and give you some impact players to use. Um, so of course it's going to change every single week. But what's important about this, obviously, is the fact that they don't only boost themselves, but they boost each other. So the more that you have, it's going to be better. So right now I have four of these Team of the Week players on my lineup. Now, of course, if I had all six, that would boost players even more, right? So Derrick Henry would probably go up a whole ton more if I were to put in even more Team of the Week players. So right now on my team, we'll head over and we'll check out how these boosts are going. So Corlin Sutton, that's one. Derrick Henry... And then I believe my other two are on defense. I have Trevon Diggs and Patrick Sertain. So let me see if I have the other guys and I can try to put them in and just demonstrate this boosting here. So let's see. Uh, Morgan Fox and Tom Brady. All right, so I know I have Tom Brady. I know I have Tom Brady. Let's check Morgan Fox. I forgot, was he defensive tackle? Defensive end? Okay, I do have Morgan Fox. So let's put in Morgan Fox and just see how this goes. So, um... Derrick Henry is now a 257, and now if I put in Tom Brady, I will now have a, well now Brady's one, see I'm going to put in Brady for now because his overall boost so high, so it's crazy, I have all them in, and Derrick Henry at a level 25 rank 2 is a 267 overall, with 222 speed, so it's kind of crazy how this boosting is working, so what you want to do every week Make sure that you're doing all the players that you have, right? All the Team of the Week players that are active for that week, putting them on your team and boosting them up because every single week those boosts are going to be useful. You're going to upgrade your team throughout the weeks, obviously, getting all your players higher overall. 
but to keep your team on pace for these next 16, 17 weeks, however long they do team of the week, you're going to want to get the boosted players every week and put them in. And that'll most likely be the best option. So that is why boosting is important. That's what you want to do. Get as many as you can because obviously they boost each other as well. So yeah, that's a lot of overalls. I jumped over 4K overall with boost, so that's crazy. Of course, this is not my actual overall, just a boosted overall. But my overall could stay boosted if I use them, the boosted players every week. So yeah, there you go, guys. That's it for this one. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.